Hello, welcome to the second part of our special. Our guest, Changer, will talk about off-meter strategies against Night Elf. Some uh, fun off-meter strategies. For you guys, some bonus material. Uh, I was... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have prepared this, this for replays that they are all a little bit unusual choices. But you will find, I, I will explain to you where you will find back still the meta play and how it usually goes. Let's go. We're excited. We want to see something. So my idea is, I know, for example, in this one, Sasuke is a Demon Hunter player. And it's a ah, little bit... I know what happens. I know what happens. You want to yeah. get the early game. So yes. I have. I, I could it. make a probably a whole stream about just showing off meta tavern builds against Nylith. But I will just go about this, which is my Naga first build. And it's a really funny thing. I, I saw Himiko playing it also. Yeah, it is also once or twice. Just going for and Naga first against Demon exactly. Hunter. On maps like where you can easily creep the expansion, with the, if you go for Tavern, you always have one more footman. Mm -hmm. And if the if you don't need a water elemental necessarily to creep the expansion, it's always a good... You can go kind of like any Tavern hero first. Mm -hmm. It does... It doesn't necessarily change the meta. You just, inst what you would maybe play second, now you just play as a first hero. I but see. it still applies the same thing. Mm -hmm. The same rules, and this game is a very good example for it. Yes. So it's very efficient here to kite out the Demon Hunter early. I'll do this a little bit fast because I want to show three more replays. <laughs> yes, yes, Not yes, yes. waste all your time. Ah, it's, it's fine, totally fine. But here it's like a really, I don't overcommit here because I know here he's strong. I just mm -hmm. want to hide out his unit. And I want to later, like, something we didn't see so far in the games, but harassing the wood economy of the enemy mm -hmm. is also a really easy thing to do with Naga. Because yes. you can slow the whiz, you can fork lightning them. Yes. It's really good. And also, uh, we have an expansion right now. and yeah. I kind of missed this one here. <laughs> I think you wouldn't have be able to to kill it actually. No, probably not. But I can keep pressure here on yeah. the archers, raise them. Yes. I mean, I also do a lot of mistakes here. Probably like a little bit to overcommit it here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But still, I'm on a good way, and I have a lot of gold as usual. Yes. Because I'm a bad player. <laughs> yes, and you have the best race in the world, like imbalance yeah. and stuff like that. Exactly. But yeah. I had a quite good start, but I'm a little bit throwing it here. Yes. And that's what I'm saying about try to keep your footmen alive mm. if you want to have a good game. They are so valuable and I just throw them away. Yeah, because footmen are so good, first of all, to creep, to be, yeah. uh, they have a good pace. Yeah, but yeah. I still try to get some time out here. Huh? And I didn't choose to buy the boots, just a circlet, just to get some more power and invest less gold. It's yes. always a matter of question. Sometimes you can just do it instead of boots. Boots is not always the best choice. Yes. But can be. <laughs> but can be, yeah. And now you get your the army you want to exactly. get. Exactly. And this is a really strong army against what he has. Yes. And now what I'm doing is something. I'm preparing to push his expansion. So I start towering up here in the shadow. In the shadows. So, uh, what do you like to go for? Uh, go, do you go for water elementals and brilliance or, no. or, or blizzard? I go blizzard. Yeah. I start to choose brilliance or first because this is the kind of thing. Even though I play unusual start, I still want to come back to this fairy, which looks like kind of like the meta army because mm -hmm. it's just the strongest. Yeah. Yes. I really need this aura to utilize. That's why Archmage is the number one hero for human because this aura just goes well with casters and. With spellbreakers, and if you don't have it, it's just really hard to play it. Mm. It's I will show a different way, but it's also more of a meme strategy uh, to have yeah. some fun in the letter. But this is usually how you would like to place if you choose Naga first and you go for an expansion. Yes. And yes, I'm preparing my push now not by doing some big tradings on the side, but I'm building some cannon towers. Oh, here. so it's <laughs> like just playing reverse, right? So you do yes. everything is the exact same, it's just a different first hero. Just different, you could end. Yeah. Yes, here again, I want to go into a good position in this choke here to mm. not give him enough space. It's an excellent position for me. 
yes. into the creeps are here. Yeah, but, but they he, will help you as well, I think. Yes. He runs in like an idiot. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> sorry, Sasuke. <laughs> uh, it was a long experience day. <laughs> but yeah, he will lose this fight for sure. Even though he yeah. does a really great job all the time saving his spears, yeah? Yeah. He's still on 60 supply. Well, just just uh, to mention that um, Changer plays without groups. So you see, like, he's very... Some, yeah. Well, do you, you do that, right? So Changer is very... Work army, sometimes I do. You do? But I don't, usually don't assign groups until I'm 50 supply. So, ah, okay. Yeah. I think what you can learn about this is a little bit because I used to play also very... Uh, I'm really bad at macro. <laughs> But I, I think I have a quite good micro and yes. also doing due to my decision making in the fights. Mm -hmm. But one thing I realized just for myself is uh, I should use some more groups maybe, but groups most important part is to move around the map, not so much about the fight. Mm -hmm. Because in the fight, usually using your whole group all the time could also lead to making mistakes and targeting the wrong things. Yes. So I prefer... Nowadays, I try to assign some group. It's hard for me to learn, but I try to do it, especially with bigger armies, to move them around. Mm. But still, in fights, I use a lot of. If I want to use a lot of double click, I use a lot of circling around mm. or targeting sing, using single units also to split and whatever, just because I feel more confident on how to work my army with this. But it's a design decision. It's not necessarily bad or worse. Yeah. So you would say like your biggest weaknesses your macro management sometimes yeah. and um, because yeah. i also didn't used to use groups for buildings that's why <laughs> yeah. but nowadays i try to do better and look that's a good way no... to improve i like to do i have that. no gold i have no gold now yeah that's that means okay. your macro is going well right right now okay. yes yeah so i have this joke now here with the two towers i even try to artificially this lumber mill to make it even closer mm -hmm. Uh, he could make some move around here, but I would still be very stable and packed. And mm. he just confronts me because he also want to keep his position. But you see, like this is the typical that, or you, that's what you want to have is the bears. Like three bears are connecting, and three exactly. bears are just doing nothing. Yes, and also now he will breath, and you will see only this talk would take damage because spray breakers absorb the damage from the breath. Wait a second, I refresh because. Uh... Yes, okay, back. Yeah, because so I like this position. You go down nice. here. I have a really yeah. great position. I can do it. I should throw some. I don't know where my slows are, but they should come soon. That they are coming. But mm -hmm. I'm really stable here, especially with these two towers. And I can fight really great. And pressure is a little bit like Chamico did it. Yeah, powering up in a good spot. Yes. And staying there to win those fights. And now you see what we want to see the bears um, get into the red. HP phase, and yeah. um, I think this is a, a, a very critical moment. But because a lot of players are doing, getting too cocky in that moment, and you make it happen that you kill the expansion, and now to fight, I think like without towers, you would have TP'd, right? Exactly. Yeah, but I think I would. I still feel the urge to TP here because yeah. he did a really good job saving his army. Yes, and even though I could. I couldn't kill them really, mm -hmm. and that's why uh, he could still fight me now. And I'm still, even though I this push was successful, this is what I mean. Why Chemico still stays very defensively? It doesn't mean you have won yet. Uh, you need to still finish the game. Yeah, because now he's getting the, the expansion back. Um, you need to make sure that you get enough heal scrolls, and Check. right, because now you see how long this game goes, even though you killed the expansion. Yes, and. I decided to go for a third expansion soon with like, I have a, what, let me think now. I'm, I'm going around here. Mm -hmm. Again, I see he will creep downstairs. So I'm going around again into my spot here mm -hmm. because to cancel his expansion. Uh, he faked the TP. Okay. Nice. But, but I'm, what I'm doing now is really just focus the expansion. I see him coming, but I just TP out because my job is done. And I put up the second expansion here. And you, you know that this position you were in was terrible. Yes. To stay like two, three seconds longer would have cost you a lot of units. Exactly. 
And now I make a big mistake, which is this fight here. Wait a second. What, what are the upgrades? The supply? Give us some insight. 2-2? Two, two? Yeah, I have 2-2. Two, two, okay. two, zero here, so perfect upgrades. Adapt on both. Supply on Level. Night Elf is 80 supply as well? He has 70, 76. 76 against All 80. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this fight doesn't seem to look very well for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because now his panda can come here really through and I focus it, but what I'm doing is all the attention. He will just crush in here and he will make a really big line just to kill my unit. So this fight yeah, here, oh, even though now this is quite good here because the blizzard target slot, his heroes broke through. Mm. I didn't slow them in time and they just were and the, the on Demon my Hunter background. and Panda like broke through and also oh. Exactly. I lose way too much. Yeah. I mean I think because it's not a choke point, right? You yeah. You decide to go in the open field he can I lost like twenty supply and he lost one beer. Mm. But I had some some let's say some money stacked up and I know immediately I need to go back to make something to delay the time to get up an army. And always like the invisible Naga, make sure that you get the heal scrolls and Ex the important yes. ones. So, so I have the CP on my Archmage and I go for his base just to snipe mm. off pillows. So he forced him to go back, TP out, I'm scouting with the Naga, mm. just if something is there. Mm -hmm. So I wonder, I need more army. <laughs> yes. I need to go back up to 80. And yeah, he's now... You know that he's so, not having an expansion that means every unit he's like exactly getting killed. And, yeah. And I want to force him again to fight here, not in my base. I mm -hmm. could also try here, but I know I need to defend break his income and I need to go back to here to fight him. Mm -hmm. That's a good that's the so best. I have this yeah. position again. I always want this position. I really love it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And now you Endless. think like, yeah, now you commit uh, like m with more aggression, but not in a way that, yeah. yeah. But what I kind of see is like, he moves backward all his units, so their move units are quite out of order. Yeah, yes. You see, he has my position. <laughs> yes. And I can do fully front. I only fight against three bears, even though there's so many, like five bears are not fighting at all. Yes, yes. So this works really great. They are all pushed here. I stand really great. I have the mortars in the back. Sniping out the dryads or even sniping out the expansion. So this is a really good fight. And I have to hear scrolls too. Yeah, and I don't need perfect. to care about the panda. Yes. Maybe you could have the Bobai. Okay. I think it's it's a good good yeah, okay, you kill everything. It's a good fight. I stand stable here in yeah. a row. Yeah. A little bit I give him a lot of but it's okay. Also, what what I acknowledge a little bit, I knew he was working his tree here, which mm. means he doesn't have his moon words available if he's staffing. Yes. He should always. That's always the risk of a knight of putting his tier three three up because it means he will not staff to his home base. That's true. Factors. So that's why it was also reason why I wanted to enforce the fight on his expansion here. Yes. Yes. And now Very the game nice. gets the game gets really funny because the panda will just destroy me in the solo. <laughs> Ah, the panda yeah, gets I level remember. six. Yeah. If he gets home, yes. one thing this this year was really crucial saving this martyr. This, this will be the MVP. But yeah, true. You have no income either. So now, <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. It's too... And I saved this mortar now because I know I might need it. Saving everything, it's like really hard. We both have no income. This is situations we find very often and where people make a lot of this form. Oh, I give him the invo pot, but he still dies. And this God. panda is just wrecking me. I mean, it's... Okay. And all I know is like, he still has a running gold mine, even though it's just one wisp. And if he's getting his demon hunter back or whatever, huh? Exactly. I kill these two storm elements so he doesn't do a lot of damage to me. But it's still hard. I need to oh. TP. Oh. And oh, I only have 200 gold left. So I choose to heal up. I forgot to heal this mortar, sadly. And now something crucial happens. Like, of course, he doesn't have the information. But he makes a slightly, a slight mistake, I think. He goes up looking if I have an expansion. Now, it's a little bit hard for him to judge. He must have think I... I have an expansion here, even though he doesn't know. Mm. But it gives me a brief time now to actually win the game. 
Yes, and, and also like it. he could have sold some items just to get exactly. maybe his, if he just had uh, managed to get his demon hunter back. I mean, how much gold is that? Like yeah, he gets he actually already building him. Okay, but yeah? okay, yeah. But he could have sold those items and scout this with the wizard or something. Usually yeah. he should have stayed here at Exxon, but it's really hard to judge to be yeah, fair is, this is. kind of situation. But this mortar is now my game winner. Because I'm able to kill his, and the panda is not there, and I uh, oh deny his stuff of teleportation. Oh my god. He stepped on the wrist instead of oh the building. Oh my god, what a game. And now you go for exactly. the... Exactly. And now I will focus completely on the altar. So I thought he... Yeah. Nice. Now so... it's just the panda and you. <laughs> it's the dog and you. This even has a wrist left, and now it's the chase, and the game comes to a tragic end. I invested into a priest with my last money. <laughs> because he would just, just thought like uh, to get some heal up, some yeah. Heal, yeah. And I also had the arc in build, of course. But still, nice. this panda is scary. Like a panda can kill me by himself, and this game ends in a very tragic oh. way. Oh, is this surround? And even uh, he has the staff, right? Uh, no, it's not ready yet. I think. Oh my god, what a game! It was like really, but Im imagine one more breath and. Not just yeah. showing you guys the drama of this game, but also <laughs> just like it was literally the same game, yeah. And I just applied the ideas I have from what I used to play as a meter to play a different style and a different opening. Very well played. But it stays the same game, and now the fun begins. Now the fun. <laughs> I thought it was already the fun. No, no, there's more fun. There's more now, fun. All right. Out of this, I develop. I develop a strategy, especially against keeper. Yes. Which is just like killing heroes. And you what? can play this two ways. Wait a second, I refresh. Uh, all right. You can I'm play back. two games. Yes. Two ways. Whether you go for an expansion again on the map like Aquiles, it's really useful mm -hmm. to go for an expansion. Or you can also, I will also play this against Smurf as a push. Yes. So let's see and please count the heroes who die. Oh my god. <laughs> against Paladin. Also, sometimes very tilted. Yeah, I think he was very tilted after this game. You love Tavern Heroes, do you? I do. I see. <laughs> they give a great opportunity for an early game. and Oh, in-game chat. Was... Nice. Yeah, it was a clan or a tree. Ah. So he knew he's going to go for, for a Warden? No, or... I, he went for a Keeper. Because Warden mm. is no, most typical, right? On this warden side. also, but it also works against warden. Like Naga is a very good here against any neither hero. Okay, so also against say. keeper. So you, you knew what he's gonna go for. Yeah, I will I will show you later why Naga is a great hero against keeper. Something people don't maybe don't know. Mm -hmm. But Naga can attack while she's entangled. Ah, because you can still cast cast spells and if you auto cast frost arrow you can still attack and this will be also crucial for this game a okay, level three keeper which is sometimes yeah i solely just steal him to search treasure to bait out like some of his tangles because as we said it's important to drain the mana mm -hmm. without giving him any value yeah yes I see, I see. So he's not going for an expansion, you kill his lore, which gives you some time and um, makes sure that you get on tier 2 and have some advantage, right? Hello? Just a moment, shortly. Yes. Change that disappeared. Okay. okay. My, my wife just interrupted me. <laughs> she doesn't care Typical. about this game. Yeah, I, I know that, like... She doesn't know what 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 is he doing there? I mean, yeah. can't be very important. Why are you not working? So yeah, what the hell? It's yeah, Leon, Leon knows about it. Every time we, we I'm, a, I'm a bad influence happens. on your on your career. I'm sorry. It happens at least two times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what I'm trying to present here. See, I attack him while he's while it's entangled. Yes. And even preventing him from doing more damage here again. This mm -hmm. even leads to like. Of course, he could do a little bit less damage. Mm -hmm. So that's why Naga is also good against it. Yeah, He does a lot of creeping, but let's skip to the fun part. Ikoel is typical for uh, 
yeah. it's like less creeps, right? It's not a lot yeah. to creep, but yeah. they make, make I it permanently. Happen. I permanently do the straights, harassing his wood economy, as long as he doesn't push me. Mm -hmm. This is the idea you should think about utilizing your time while you're not strong. Mm -hmm. And the wood economy is probably the weak point of the night elf, so you always want to keep it low. So he has 100 wood and his units are so wood expensive. Mm. And now I go for MK second and this will be just poorly fun. MK second, Naga first and M MK second. Why is MK? I don't say it's a good strategy, but if you bolt and fork lighting, you can kill a hero pretty fast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not saying this works against any player or it's like the preferred price tag, but it's just really fun to play and you will see why. It works against a uh, paladin. All right. <laughs> Works against people who don't buy invo potions. Ah, uh, this harassment with your fork knightling is very nice to see. Yeah, that's you can always kill like three with with just one fork like level two. Yes. And if he groups them up stupidly like this, and I even go for his pains, because I have don't have the army to fight him here. Yeah, mm. I just keep and I force him back. Can okay. kill it actually? No. no okay. I kill. But now I can at least defend, take some time. Going a little bit fast forward, creeping, sparring. Interesting. And now the fun will start soon. <laughs> <laughs> level 3 bold, level 2 bold. Like, uh, like keep, here we uh, go. Ah. Wow. Just it just needed one bash and the hero is down and he had TP everything. Oh my god! <laughs> and also and this this, this damage like Fortnite lightning then this frost yeah, arrow, it's huge. So you like to go for hero focus? Exactly. It's I more see. fun to play. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Exploding the heroes, and so I have a really strong army. I just stay here. Mm -hmm. A little bit defensive, not committing, uh, just yes. not getting tired. And he goes for Mon Giants, which is really strong. Which is a good and idea he... because that makes it very tough for you because you need lights yes. or something like this right now. Yes, and even though I have a superior army, I will win this just focusing his heroes down. Wow. <laughs> just that. Because normally you don't have that kind of hero focus exactly. potential. Yeah. And I really just go for bolt, a bash bolt, and just boom, boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Ah, you just hero dies again. Like, it's yeah. like, it doesn't, you don't care if you lose units if the heroes are down. Exactly. It's declining the heroes. Of course, it only works against Paladin. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, here losing his hero again. And I'm getting bigger and bigger, level six, level five. Oh my god. You know, I have this I have this frost arrow for lighting and bolt and Poor well, Paladin, I'm, I'm feel I feel sorry for him. Exactly. I'm even a little bit memeing, just trying killing them first. But it's time for his heroes to fall. Why went he why did he go for Tinker? I have Gigi. no idea. Well played. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah. And I would show a second also that this, which is my preferred style actually, this expo into MK second maybe works here, but it's not really the best, but mm -hmm. which is my preferred style with here, which you could also choose uh, against different heroes like a demon hunter. I would prefer to choose blood mage mm -hmm. because what you can actually do is you can banish your naga and your naga can still attack. I'm not mm -hmm. kidding. <laughs> it's really strong and it can work really well but also you just utilize it much better also you can combine banish and fork lightning to get some extra damage out take out several units it works really well but i actually faked here my mm -hmm. arc mage build to start very early pushing him here and I to see. create some the idea of this strategy is to create some sort of reaction is yeah? sasuke, Usually a lot of is that Sa uh, sasuke Nee, smurf, smurf. smurf, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, okay. Usually, when people see this, they think, okay, he's gonna tower rush me tier one. Mm -hmm. uh, like creating this kind of momentum, if you're thinking you want to push your enemy, you always start it. And what I started is 
I did. I wanted to push for sure, but not on tier one. Yeah, but mm. he already reacts building a second engine of four. He takes late because mm. he doesn't want to lose. He even builds more wisps just to be safe on here. And I'm still on my way to tier two, man. You haven't. <laughs> yes. He, well, it's kind of like if you go for off meter, you need to lay your enemy a trap or something. He's he hasn't seen before and he hasn't experienced before. Yeah, that's the strong part about playing off meter. That's because some players, even though they don't play the common way, uh, can win sometimes because the opponent doesn't yeah. know how to adapt to that. It works, especially against players who are very intuitive in their play. If they never faced it, mm. they will always lose. And mm. most players, I would say, they have a very intuitive approach to Warcraft. Mm. They just play a lot and that's how they learn. Yeah, because they have something in their muscle memory to to go to, right? They know, exactly. right? I just I need mean, to. Yeah. I played once against this or that, and um, yeah, it's like, also very crucial. Yeah, losing against off meter makes you strong in a certain way to know immediately what to do. That's how I sometimes knew, like, ah, oh, it's yeah. so strong against to play. Uh, uh, it's so strong to play that or this, and then I realized, oh, I know know what to do, and then it's like, okay. It's exactly. basically, uh, yeah. yeah, easier. I learned I learned to play humor by playing two hundred games against a player who never plays normal. Mm. <laughs> that's how you learn every little detail of your race and this mm. matchup, and it can be valuable. Doesn't mean you need to go through it, but in this way, it's also sometimes just fun now to play something different. It's not that boring to have the same different day. Now I have like a, this really great army. Mm. Which I haven't lost so many footmen. I try to keep them alive because they will be my biggest asset. Yes. And this is the normal tier two push you would usually do also with Archmage. Mm. Yeah, just reaching daytime attacking. And he is prepared, man. I mean, he has this really great base build, and I see that and I know I cannot be too strong. So I will build my base camp up here. <laughs> and also, you can like manage maybe to kill some units, but not yeah. like to finish him right away. Yeah. Yeah. The great, the great part also about. I mean, I don't have a. I can go here for the hero folks. It will not, but it will, just to drain down experience. Yeah. Mm. On the other side, also, I know I will not finish them, mm. but I can go for the archers now immediately, and I can how, how strong a fog lightning this. is when you have it. Uh, yeah. Like so early, right? Because later it it, it it gets weaker and weaker, but if you yeah. have it early, it's like Fantasia, right? With chain yeah. Taking out the wizard, and I know I need to go for some towers here in the back. They are my insurance with the footies tanking the damage. Also, some getting mana for here. the Naga. Exactly. And here I built a shop because this will be crucial to buy pot potions. Yeah. This strategy also, I started to play this after they put down the cost for mana potions because they I utilized them a lot with this strategy. Mm -hmm. And here I bolted the Naga so I will not get killed. And nice. in return, I, I get the nukes on. And these nukes, they are usually like Knight of Stone expect you to have this nuking power. Mm. They, they all of a sudden feel like they play against Undead. Yeah, yeah. it's like, it's, it, I want to say that. It feels like yeah. uh, Coil Nova. But, exactly. uh, but, and yeah. I can still attack here. This is mm. what he doesn't expect. I can still attack even though he dangled me. Mm. It's kind of broken, if mm. you ask me. Mm. But it's a funny thing, and most people wouldn't know that. And just he heals, I kill his wisps again. Yeah, now it's brutal for him because he won't manage yeah. to come back. I have to shop. I permanently utilize these items from here. I don't even build new units. I just buy items. Mm. <laughs> just to get more mana in, yeah? I just need this mana. Because the Naga is so strong against this, what he has. Exactly. With the units, the heroes are, have, have a low level... He tries to get an uh, up uh, to, to build up uh, an AP, but you can manage to kill this with Rifleman. Yeah, this looks awesome. And then Tangled Naga can attack. Yes, you can attack by using her Frost Arrow Killing ability. The frost Arrow, yes. So you you see, like, um, he can manage by single shooting some Frost Arrows, but not by right clicking, right? Yes. Yeah. Exactly, you need to use the first arrow manually. Yes. Yeah. 
Hound, I would be to detonate Wiz on the heroes constantly. I don't think so, because the thing is with this Forkling, you can just destroy the Wiz, yeah. And you have this tower, so you can just push back. But it's very expensive for him, so it's an idea, yes, and it can work, but it's really hard. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was lucky the Naga was almost to come out, and he just leaves the game. Yeah. GG, just, but interesting like, strategies. I, th I think as a, this kind of push, it's even more valuable to play. The other one is more was a little bit more meme tactic. Mm -hmm. but this one is probably even a possibility to win the game. If you are able to create this early game by pretending to do something different than you mm -hmm. actually do. Mm -hmm. Right. And one last game I didn't want. <laughs> yeah, let's go. I leave you guys. Yes. Uh, just because it's a iconic and I want to also it's against a player recipes oh, hot hot and sadly this game will never happen again in this way I had a best of three against him where we only played tavern hero against tavern hero yes and this was the last game <laughs> where I played also naga first the oh. other games were were panda first and beastmaster first from my side yes uh but uh, it's a really funny game and I think also a little bit to learn and unusual style Nice to see Hot playing. Yeah. Like uh, once more here. And also he's he's really going different. for for um Firelord. Exactly. Yes. And so I can also off meter also works against off meter, just to show you guys. <laughs> I see, I see. Even though it's not really good. Actually, Firelord is a very tough hero to fight mm. against. You see that I will have a very bad early game. It's interesting two two guys meet who would like like to play off meter. Mm. <laughs> And here I lose my Naga, I lose a footman, I do nothing. Wait a second, except... I refresh so we can see better. All right. It's kind of we this game back. is kind of like the what to do in like a worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. So this is also why I choose this game. Mm -hmm. And so he goes for file. It's very hard to fight because he's a really good hitter. He has the summons. My Naga does shit. So I decide to creep passively fast getting level two up and constantly mm -hmm. harassing here with some footmen around splitting them this mm -hmm. time i choose for the boots because i just want to run i don't want to fight with mm -hmm. a circlet mm -hmm. i would do that but i want to and i come here kill with uh, mm -hmm. i want to delay him as much as possible mm -hmm. and i see my only i play file a second <laughs> this is some style i play this daga file or dark ranger because they all have a Orb ability, yeah. You can do incinerate, frost arrow, dark, dark arrow, and mm -hmm. it works really well if you don't intend to creep your heroes at all. <laughs> yes, yeah. because they're very valuable on level one. Yeah. So I go straight to tier three then, mm -hmm. and I keep constantly just fighting and keep the game up alive and just arrows and running around with my units, splitting, utilizing these heal fountains at mm -hmm. the night time. So while he's creeping and he's actually doing a good job, but look, he has almost no, no, because I saw the only opportunity was like, yeah, denying his wood economy. And yeah. this is what I did to come back into the game. And yeah. which makes me also safely be able to push to get up to level three. Uh, interesting. To three. Also going for tier three. Interesting. Okay. Because my idea is, okay, he will only have archers and the best counter against archers is knights mm -hmm. straight out. So... I'll try to keep off the bears and dryads, which would be the counter, mm -hmm. and just go to tier three straight, mm -hmm. pushing out a lot of knights and triple staff, mm -hmm. trying to just, yeah. Also, the, the pro about knights is they keep up to this kind of style, which is running around. They're very fast, and they do great damage against buildings. Yeah. So they are playing perfectly into my game. And, and also like now I, Dark Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Dark Rangers also good against the Archer because with the Dark Arrow you can just steamroll them, which yeah. like a little bit snowball them down. Like I only go for the Archer, first Gladden down. I need to be careful. Mm -hmm. And he does still very well. Yeah? But still I'm trying to get here some mm -hmm. something to threaten the Archers by not losing my hero here. Ouch. Oh, <laughs> Now still, you get knights. I guess some knights, yes. He does a big mistake now. 
which is going for Sigmund. Why is this game? Oh my god. Actually, I think if he would have went straight for just double lore and a lot of drights, he would have won this game, but he decides to go for for Chimeras. What the um, interesting. Uh, it will turn a really funny game in the end. Yeah? Oh, nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my game is a little bit... At some point I had two units stepped here. This one was healed and it didn't get out here. It's a little bit of the funny base. Sometimes well, I... This game, I mean... <laughs> funny. Nice to see. Yeah, and see, now the knights really utilize really well. Mm -hmm. And I have already at least one stuff so i can always get them out yeah this is like the maximum value if you play knight oh he's going for, is safe. Going for King Maris, but it's not really like i decide to go for a workshop now probably even better would have been to go for griffin avery mm -hmm. but you can go both way like if he goes strides then you can still build mortars uh but the better part is i think why the griffin Avery would be better is hawks you can also then produce griffins if hawks are also good against rides and you can also produce griffins if he goes for bears yeah yes, yes. That's, but the workshop also i think worked out fine it's just to get out really fast you could let's just build really fast mm -hmm. that's why i decided i need a fast term solution here mm -hmm. and i got out the i felt like okay i anyway have the knights on the ground everything else i don't care about the drives and he has no panda so, so, so for example gyro is exactly. strong yeah Exactly. Also, I felt like, okay, maybe he has soul burn. So if I just have a few hawks, he soul burns one and takes it out. And so I just felt like I was, they do a perfect matchup here and to get them out fast. I'm not sure what's the better decision, to be honest. What a game. But, uh, I kill his Naga and I save mine. And this is like also something Night Elves don't experience often to have three stuffs against you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They are usually the guys stuffing out and mm -hmm. playing. And yeah, it's like I'm very close to a triple stuff, I think. No. But, oh my God. And now he brings he brings the Chimera, but you can see they don't even do that much damage. Yeah, they don't do enough to kill them before I stuff them. Mm -hmm. So you can and... always make sure that you rescue them. And if they t um, try exactly. to kill the um, knights, you can just... Yeah. Nice. And I go for for armor upgrades now also, which brings me I, at least it one one, which also gives me that they don't die too fast. Mm -hmm. And now I stay with the copters in his base constantly, being, but yeah, I can just save these knights here. But he can't can't kill them because he has not exactly, even though he has it. But he's this momentum of going. He needs a lot of shims, and if he goes a lot of shims, he's just too. He will lose them too easily. Looks like a, an army you play against Undead, for, to be honest. But in this case, so, it yeah. happens <laughs> to, to get like played against Snyder often. It's funny, like the Skewers just, just stay in his base and keep fighting. But it's so nice to see it's, uh, something different. Like when you see every time the same, uh, this is very fun to see, actually. Yeah. Looks like Red Indeed, Heroes. Sure. <laughs> yeah. And, it's, and we see that you don't like human heroes at all. So. I like them, but it's, it's just, <laughs> it's a little bit different approach to the game, but it's true. Uh, you need to understand that I don't create these strategies from nothing. Just for It's actually not a fun strategy at all. Actually, we created the strategy against Demon Hunter back in the days when Demon Hunter was very popular, mm. because it's kind of like usually an anti-Demon Hunter strategy, mm. which I liked, I thought would be good against Fire Lord, because Fire Lord is a similar hero, just this hero who just keep hitting and mm. but still you can if it's very weak against hero focus and so goes with the demon hunter if you have these three heroes hitting a demon hunter he goes down so fast especially mm. with the knight mm. so it's a kind of style we created back then with a couple of human players and which actually worked against th playing knight elf back then who was back then the best player in the world so it's not just a strategy we created out of nowhere and it took a lot of time and effort to get out the right timings but yes that's the thing about off meta strategies. They work in a certain way and they work also. This is kind of like a this early push with the Naga is kind of like a in general we say Finte. Mm -hmm. Like you don't really want to win at this point, but mm -hmm. you want to just pretend to you're going for an all-in. Sometimes we even used to bring 
two militia just to build an arcane tower to make the <laughs> the Nayev react. Yeah. And uh, and also we just and yeah. also even though uh, like either way, if the night elf re overreacts, you got an advantage. If the um, night elf um, doesn't do anything, and you may might go for a push, which is also yeah. possible, he has not enough to defend it. So exactly. most and of the time, they will go for the most safe, more, more safe way. Exactly, and then it's kind of like then a cat and mouse play because in later, if the players know what you do, they will maybe not overcommit. And then you just do the tower push, <laughs> right? That's that's yeah. what, what I find interesting when you know players and know players know each other, they react exactly. like in a gamble way. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. And it's it's really funny just to strategize around this. And I kind of keep like the players who played back then they don't play anymore, but mm -hmm. I kind of like kept the strategy up and also improved it a lot. I don't do this fake in the beginning anymore because I felt like it doesn't utilize so well. Mm -hmm. And usually. What you can also do, like I, what I do a lot is uh, playing Blood Mage second or MK second and going for a push. Mm -hmm. uh, this is more the preferred way, also against Keeper. Against Demon Hunter, I sadly couldn't find a replay of this. Mm -hmm. I played this against Saska mm -hmm. and I usually only play it on Concealed Hill nowadays because Concealed is the best map because you have the tavern right in front. Mm -hmm. So you, you get out the Naga and you're directly at the enemy's base. Mm -hmm. This is the advantage of this map for sure. And this is why I played on the map, not on other maps. Mm. And I usually like to play it as a push or against Demon Hunter with the Knight. But it only works in a very close mindset. And it's not uh, one defeat. It's not like a new meta or something. <laughs> I see. I see. Interesting. So if you want to develop pocket strats, you need to really keep in mind the given of the maps, the th things like I usually play Tavern Heroes only on maps where I can easily defend or I can do some push like this. Mm -hmm. Not on every map, uh, but yeah, it can work. And I hope this is the end of my <laughs> crash course against Night Earth and how to strategize around them and also to develop maybe off meta strats if you don't want to become successful but have more fun. Yeah. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it.